Listen, guys, if you know people that are alone or suffering, and as I say this, I'm talking about we're in still this whole COVID thing, lockdown, you know, in, in my world, we're around positive, happy people, but I'm reading more and more stats of uh, anxiety, depression, and suicide. And we can't let this happen, man. You know, listen, as red-blooded Americans, human beings, even if wherever you are, Europe, whatever country, these people are going through tough times. Listen, people, if you need help, reach out to somebody. If you don't think they're a friend, make a friend. You see people sad or you haven't heard from someone, guys, call them. The stats coming out now, the amount of suicides going on during this time is unacceptable and it's very, very sad. And, you know, there's people that have been locked up at home and they're sitting there just watching the news, which is depressing. And people are giving up hope. They've had hope taken from them. And at this point, man, I don't know what stats to give you. Who's right, who's wrong. They're saying now the CDC, you know, they keep changing the numbers and numbers of deaths from the actual virus have dropped. You know, they say survival rapes are up over 98%. You know, don't quote me on this because it's all going to change tomorrow and the next day. And we're going to wake up a year from now and everything's going to change again. These people are going to change everything. But there's people that have no control and they're living in fear. And they think it's like we're under this massive attack, which we know we're not under a massive attack. And there's no reason for someone to take their life. And, you know, people are losing their life savings, their businesses. Let's help them, man. Like, reach out to them, your local business owners, whoever they are. Let's support each other. Let's pull this thing together and come through this thing together so these statistics don't keep going up. Because every single day, I got an ER doctor here says he's never seen these many suicides ever in his career. And he's been a doctor for over 20 years. So we got to do something about this. I don't know what the answer is. I know I just try to keep my tribe connected and happy and positive and um, try not to buy into the hype. Don't believe the hype. Don't look at all the numbers because they just keep changing and people are getting angry. People are getting angry. And we just got to open it up, man, and get back in and have faith in our body's wisdom to defend and take care of itself because these guys don't have the answer. So let's work together on this.